Oh, you want to turn it on? Uh, Jeff, you want to turn it on? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay, hang on. Let's, let's take some minutes to zero. One forty-four point one. It is now official Javante Tank Davis out of Baltimore makes weight. We have a fight. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing working overtime for you. Make sure you guys appreciate it by throwing a like on, subscribe. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when there's an upcoming fight. Needless to say, tonight is going down Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia. They've done a hell of a job promoting. Javante Davis made weight. There was a rehydration clause, so both fighters had to weigh in in the morning time, in the a.m., before the fight, and neither one of them at that point would be able to exceed 10 pounds in the morning time. I made a separate video, check that. Ryan Garcia made his weight. He was like 144.9. And Javante Davis just weighed in the video footage you've seen at the beginning. He was 144.1. So they're basically within ounces of each other. They're really close to each other, just like the actual main weigh-in that was open to the public outside yesterday. It was lit, packed crowd. They were very close in weight at that point as well. Fights at a catch weight. They both came in 135 and change. And then the next day for the rehydration clause, they both came in, you know, within ounces of each other. Now, old media and the haters, the tank haters, look very stupid at this point because there was a big deal made and a big to-do about Javante Davis and catch weights and rehydration clause. Both fighters made the weight. And from this point, there's a lot of people that don't know what's going on in boxing but they tried to speak on boxing you know people were saying oh ryan garcia this and that and at the end of the day he made the am weight tank made the am weight we have a fight it's everything's fair and even playing field ryan's a career 135 pound lightweight fighter for the for real for real he's never fought a full-fledged 140 pounder so this fight should be taking place really at 135 the plus one pound is because of ryan garcia's team because he didn't want to make the 135 right so needless to say the rehydration clause i could understand if it was only for ryan garcia so tank can just balloon up to 180 190 or do whatever he wanted but both fighters had to make the weight both fighters were consummate professionals and did make the weight so all the old media all the crying about oh the weight and this is unfair to ryan garcia this let me just break it down this is because the rye bread fans they wanted to see Ryan Garcia, who's naturally bigger and has fought more times at the 40 pound, 140 pound division. They wanted to see him with any advantage that they could, but in boxing, that's not how it works, especially when you're not the A side. If you are Floyd, Sugar Ray Leonard, Pacquiao, Canelo, and you hold the cards as the A side, then you have jurisdiction. You want the fight, you, you have to get less money. The A side gets the lion's share. These are age old things that have always went on in the sport of boxing and people want to act brand new because it's Tank Davis for some reason. But needless to say, both fighters made the weight. There's really nothing else to talk about. I'm looking forward to an explosive fight. I've already ordered the fight. I will do in the, the boxing ego watch party will be happening later tonight. The video is already staged. You guys can leave comments already and hit the like button. So congrats to Ryan and Tank for making weight and making a hell of a event because everybody wants to see this. Everybody's talking about it. I'm looking forward to it. So they both made weight the same day weighing. Let's go. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew.